Hello Caddis user. This is a special video about extreme SBC cooling. We're going to use the Black Shark, a magical device known as a Peltier cooler, to cool down our very hot 28 nanometer rock chip RK3399 Edge of SBC. For the less informed, a Peltier cooler is basically a heat pump. When electricity is applied to the heat pump, electrons carry heat away from the cold side to the hot side. This means that it literally sucks heat away from your CPU. The Black Shark is designed to cool down smartphones that are under heavy load whilst playing 3D games. Once turned on, the cold side gets icy cold really fast. If left alone, you'll soon see condensate building up on the cold side. So let's apply this tech to a CADUS Edge of E, SBC, and see how low we can go. We've activated several MD5 hashing processes on K-Rescue to load down the CPU. Over a few minutes, with the Black Shark turned on, temperature stabilized around 39 to 40 degrees Celsius. We're not too convinced with this result, since the SBC has just turned on. Let's turn off the Black Shark first, and increase the CPU load further by adding a random hexadecimal generator. Not to forget, we must also set the CPU to the maximum frequency. Unfortunately, despite all these efforts, the CPU temperature has stabilized around 57 degrees Celsius. Perhaps our ambient air temperature at 26 degrees Celsius is too low. More drastic action is required. Once all the thermally conductive mass has been removed, the rockship RK3399 quickly heats up to 70 degrees Celsius. 70 degrees Celsius is the highest permissible temperature before thermal throttling kicks in to bring the thermals under control. Now the real test of the Black Shark can begin. For the first test, we're using our stock CADIS thermal pad, which has a conductivity of 2 watts per meter squared. Over several minutes, temperatures again stabilize at 39 to 40 degrees Celsius. So this result is consistent with our earlier findings. Let's try to get an even lower temperature. We removed the heat pad and replaced it with an 8.5 watt per meter squared Arctic silver thermal paste. Then we placed the black shark on top of the iron cube. In your own experiments, you could instead use an aluminium or copper cube. We then used the Black Shark app to set it to the coldest, frozen mode. Here we can see the lowest possible stabilization temperature with this configuration to be 34 degrees Celsius. With the Peltier cooler, we've managed to get an icy cold, rock chip RK3399, Edge of E, SBC. Thanks for watching, see you in our next video.